Got a seven furlong Kempton Racecourse handicap here. Again, on the all weather for horses rated up to 90. So it's quite a big field here for this uh, Class 3 handicap. We've got Wiley Cat, Alex Ince, and Southwark Meltemy, Martin Leadham, two rank outsiders. Grezzi and Bravo for T. Rogers. Shenzhen Stardust looking a big price for Vinnie Gerrard. Highland Maeve for Ryan Costello. Then we've got the favourite, Quanner O'Brien for A. Old. Buvac, Brooke, the stable second string for A. Old. Gambo Street, Paul Fisk. Baron Lands, Graham Clutterbuck. Alpine, James Shea. Hakuna Nation, Armour Krogin Solstice, Ryan Costello. What a Gale Tour, Alex Ince. Crescent Revenge, Mike Westwood. Flashing Alex Cherry. Frith, Wyoming for Danny. Windmills of Your Mind, Martin Leader. Milano, Michael Scala. Socially Distance, Obi-Wan. Dragon King, Michael Scala. Sue's Motor, Alex Cherry. And Avon Blaze for Terry Hansen. And they're often running here on the Kempton Racecourse Handicap over seven furlongs. Huge fields here to contest this seven furlongs in Akuna Nation. The horse racing very freely, looks very keen early doors and maybe going to settle now as those two grey horses go up and pass it there. We've got Milano in the red silks with the white sleeves, what a gale blower on the rail. But that one's dropped back and already been passed by quite a few horses there. You can see the two for Alex Old, Buvac, Brook and Connor O'Brien are racing in just off this pace and quite a furious pace. Frenetic early gallop being set by Milano and it's got a good four or five length lead already, maybe even further over the chase and pack. We've got Baron Lands as well, let's move forward. We've got Krogin Solstice racing on the wide outside. Shenzhen Stardust trying to get involved already, but that one's racing very wide for Vinnie Gerrard. So it's those two horses in the black and yellow that are making the smoothest progress so far, and the gap has already closed quite significantly. And Milano is about to be passed, I think, on the outside by Shenzhen Stardust. I picked that one out at a pretty big price when the card came up, and Shenzhen Stardust has gone into the lead now as we come to the furlong and a half uh, out. So Shenzhen Stardust and Milano seem to be pulling away from the chase and pack and they're going head to head and Milano is now battling back to pass Shenzhen Stardust on the rail but here come the chase and pack Frith Wyoming, Grazi and Bravo the two for Alex Old trying to get involved but Frith Wyoming has burst through the pack as we come towards the line, it's going to take this and you have to say, it's taken that quite easily Frith Wyoming, I think just as we went towards the off it was one of the uh, favourites second or third favourite for the race and you can see why, it's absolutely burst through the pack no, I was wrong. It's a wide outsider that's taken that 66 to 1 odds. My mistake there. Won it for Danny there. Not hard pressed by two lengths. Won really impressively. Made a lot of. Uh, took the advantage of that low weight there. As you can see, that the horse in second and uh, Grezzi and Bravo was conceding quite a bit of weight there for T. Rogers. Milano third for Michael Scala. What a glow tour uh, in fourth. And in fifth place. Not sure who finished in fifth there. But the winner, no doubt about who the winner was. It was Frith, Wyoming for Danny. And you can see Gambo Street completed fifth there for Paul Fisk. But uh, an impressive winner there of the Kempton Racecourse Handicap. And well played to Danny, the trainer.